The greatest of them all. You know there's good news when the class president is smiling. Well, how was your first meeting with the teachers? The Immortal and Grunwald decided to visit each other with their students so we can all study together once in a while. And... Uh, we go to them first! Oh, 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 we oh, oh, wait. We've never visited another magic school before. Do you think we'll get along? Yes, will they like us? What if we get there and something goes wrong? Oh. Calm down! Everyone will have a great time! I just know it! We'll just have to make sure we're wearing the right color. For example, red! Red is the best color for getting noticed. We'll stand out so much they can't possibly forget us. What if we go wearing all black? That way, everyone will know we take our studies seriously. No, we should obviously wear red! Hmm. Huh. Nocturna the Wise wears black and she's the most respected wizard there is. But Rosa the Adept wears red and everyone knows she's the greatest of all time. Let's not argue. Let's see what the magic mirror thinks we should do. The magic mirror? The one that Leshy made? Yep. Come. <laughs> these magic mirrors can do loads of things. Look, it says in these instructions that magic mirrors can produce magical sunshine bunnies as well. <gasps> Had an idea. Got it! Stop still! Oops! Is it cracked? Mm, it looks alright. Oh, Mira, so radiant. Tell me truly, please. Who's the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Rosa or Nocturna? Hmm. Rosa and Nocturna are important for sure. But the most important and greatest of all is Yaga. Oh no, do you realize what this means? That we should wear green when we go? Like Yaga? It means the mirror is broken, and I bet the teachers are not going to be happy about that. We'll need a special spell to repair it. A mirror spell should do the trick, and for that we'll need a singing frog's reflection. <laughs> the blue raven's reflection. <laughs> And some chicken moss. <laughs> What's so funny? I said I'd clean up and I will. Sometime this week or next week. Huh? Those kids. Now we've got the potion, the mirror will definitely work. Oh, Mira, so radiant. Tell me truly, please. Huh? Who is really the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Thank you for the potion. Much better. Now I can see clearly. I know the answer, and the greatest witch of all is her for sure. Rosa? Nocturna? Nonsense. It's Baba Yaga. Impossible! Eh, that's not news. I already knew that. Thanks to the mirror, now everyone else will too. Where's my mirror? <laughs> Stop! Give us back that mirror! <laughs> Sunshine Bunny! Sunlight Fold, hop where you're told! Hop to Baba Yaga's broom! Huh? <laughs> well, fancy that! Even the bunnies love me now! <laughs> uh, oh! Uh, wait! Stop still! Uh, stop still! I caught it! Hooray! Oh! 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 My mirror! The world has to know the truth! Where'd you go? Aha! There you are! Hmm. What's going on? Oh, well, so much for my mirror. <sighs> I think she's gone. Mm -hmm. I have no idea why the mirror still isn't working. Oh, it's the monster! Help! It's okay. It's me. The protector of the forest, Leshy. We met before, you know. What's brought you all the way out to the middle of my woods? We were just trying to fix the magic mirror. You broke it? It doesn't look broken. 
but we can make another one, just in case, as a spare. <clears throat> Here you go. Give it a try. <gasps> Who's the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Yoga! To tell the truth, I think Baba Yaga is the greatest. She helps moss and berries grow. She even cares for weeds and toadstools. Also, her swamp soups are delicious. Oh, <laughs> I was just passing through. Come by for soup. I also make moss stew with boiled roots. We'll stop by later. For magic mirrors, the person who matters most to the maker is the greatest. Want to try making one? I can show you how. Yes, yes we do. Yeah. Miro, tell me truly, who is the greatest witch of all? Marlene. Yeah, Marlene always has good advice, and she's always been around to help. I think I see now. The clothes we wear don't matter. It's what we do while we wear them. The color of our clothes doesn't make us great. It's all in the actions we take. And we know they love botany at Grunwald School, so we'll take them on magical plants. That's a wonderful idea. I'm sure Grunwald will be delighted at your thoughtfulness. The Good Luck Guardian. Dorma, what's the matter? They say that if a ghost passes through your body, it will take all your good luck with it. That's only if you believe in luck, which I personally don't. You don't believe in it? You believe in bad luck, don't you? No, I don't believe in bad luck either, because if you study hard, you don't need good luck to get an A. In El Dorado, there's a saying that if you bounce a ball 505 times, you'll have good luck all day. And I believe it. 105, 106. Dorma and I won't need good luck to beat you at soccer. <laughs> no way. Mm -hmm. In the yard, for all to see. Oh, Vosco, you're going to knock a vase over on me. Be careful. Oh. No, 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 no. And are those paintings hung properly? They look like they could fall any minute. I thought I ordered a professor's hat. Oh, but this one's not too bad. <laughs> 132, 133. <laughs> oh, man. Now I have to start over. I saw a horned monster down there. My day's barely started and my luck's already terrible. It's just the professor. <laughs> so, if even the professor is out to scare me, how will I last till nightfall? Dorma, you're going to be jumping at every single shadow. I think this spell could help you. When you recite the spell and connect the two halves of the talisman, a guardian spirit will appear. It'll drive away bad luck 24 hours a day without a break. All right, I'll give this a try. May this spell protect me, guard me, and defend me. You'll be completely safe with this guardian. An ironclad guarantee. Thank you, Doria. Five hundred and four, five hundred and five. Now I'll have a lucky day, <laughs> and victory will be ours. We'll see about that, won't we? Then want to see something cool? I'll score a goal without looking. A little thing I like to call super luck. Ugh, Dorma, that really hurt. It wasn't me, Vosco. Come on, really? Three against two, and that uniform is cheating. We can't play a match against him. Imagine if that hunk of iron steps on your foot. It won't be pretty. Wait there and just stay still. Okay, Vasco, try that again. <clears throat> Kinda of feels like he doesn't want to listen. He's coming to take a shot at our goal. I think he's after you personally. Stop still. He probably thought Vasco wanted to hit me with the ball. Maybe you should let him go now. Just split the talisman. Do I have to split the talisman? That sounds like a terrible idea. I'll never have any good luck ever again. Well, the 
the ball is clearly on your side now, so I am not going to play with it. <laughs> Make it stop! Guardian, no! Stay! That Guardian! That's enough! <laughs> to the school! He won't get us there! Tired out. Deflated, even. Uh, I liked him a bit more as the ball. Vasco, run! I'll hold him off for you! Splitting a talisman is bad luck, even in Eldorado. You've got enough bad luck as it is! I'll split it myself! <laughs> Why are you doing acrobatics with the bear? Hang on, Vosco, I'll save you! Oh, I'm going to fall down! Vosco, go ahead and split the talisman, please! Great. Let the bad luck begin. Nothing's beginning. All these superstitions about luck, they're not real. You bounced that ball 500 times and weren't lucky at all. Yeah, I wouldn't say today was a lucky one. <laughs> and Dorma had a rough time with the Guardian. And it was all because I summoned him thinking he'd solve my problems for me. But now I'll handle those troubles on my own. All with the help of my awesome friends. I'm glad to hear that. As wizards, we believe in many magical things and powers. Like ghosts, spells, even Baba Yaga. But luck shouldn't worry you. Hey there, Archie. <laughs> <laughs> These carrots are gigantic! 33 times bigger than normal! With carrots like these, we'll definitely win first prize at the Magic Fair. Best farm product of the year! I'm going to pull up the biggest one. Watch this. <gasps> uh -huh. uh hmm, they're so tiny. These wouldn't feed a gnome. They look more like the worst farm product of the year, and there's no prize for that. How did this happen? We did everything the same way as the giant gardeners, and the fair is tomorrow, so we don't have enough time to grow new carrots. Well, first, don't worry. As my dad says, even the sourest berries can make the tastiest jam. But we grow carrots, we don't have berries. No, Dorma, that was just an old saying. It means you can make the best out of a bad situation. Just stay positive. Let's see what's here. We only have a day, so we need something that only takes a day to grow. Bingo! Oh, you know! Only the botany professors can grow unpredictable berries. They're totally unpredictable, and they grow wherever they want. If you don't water them fast enough, they run off. They shrivel in the wind and in the sun. But they make berries so delicious that we could easily win the competition with them. As soon as you see it grow, give it all the water you've got. Or it'll run off, and you're never going to be able to catch it. There! Gotcha! Heroic leap on him! To the yard! Prepare to water! Huh? How does it do that so quickly? Oh, oh well, we can forget about winning. Not at all. The seedling is just looking for a good spot so it can grow bigger and make tastier berries. Let's put up and look for it. If it takes root near some flowers, the berries will be sweeter. By the river, they'll be juicier. The best location? Nowhere near Baba Yaga. Mm. Pickled tree stumps, stewed nettle salad, the best woodland recipes from my copy of Yucky Muck. With these in hand, I'll be the talk of the fair. Oh, an unpredictable berry. If I can just... <gasps> if Baba Yaga waters it, the unpredictable berry will stay with her. Hmm? Uh. Well done, Helen. Uh. Big whoop. 
I never wanted it in the first place. Honestly, I'm not much of a gardener. On the mountains of the Kingdom of Seven Peaks, the only thing that grows is moss. But moss is very predictable. Not like this. <gasps> Unpredictable! You're right, Levon. You need to work on your plant knowledge. That's just a strawberry. Aha! You can't escape me now! <laughs> and those are thistles. Well, they put up a brave fight. Shh! There it is. Look! Wait here. I'll show you how a real gardening pro catches in. <gasps> My water! Are you okay? We almost caught it. And then I ruined everything. We'll figure something out. What is there to figure out? The water's all gone. That's all of it. Not quite all of it. A single drop of dew? That's all the moss in Seven Peaks needs to grow. So maybe unpredictaberries are the same. Look at that! It's so much taller than I expected! It is. It's taller than the trees. Berry sprout! Oh, it's over. The sprout is gone for good. <gasps> oh, yay! We'll definitely win first prize with this. Look, it's so hot in the sun that it's losing its leaves. It needs shade. But what can we do? There's not a cloud in the sky. What about fox? Bosco, that's a great idea. Oh, look, it's already growing fruit. <gasps> Grab them! If the berries hit a stone, they'll burst right open. <gasps> We'll never stop it! I'll try to steer it! The amazing ball act! Watch out for that rock! Look out! Thistle! Yay! I declare us professors of botany! Shoot! That was the last berry! There goes our chance of winning! And the sun's going down too! It's nearly dark, which means we can't grow anything before tomorrow! Hmm. Even the sourest berries can make... I know what to do! We're gonna win this competition! Ah, the life of a wizard is as unpredictable as these berries. You never know. Anything could be waiting round the corner. <laughs> but no matter what curveballs life throws your way, there is always a solution or two to be found. You learn to make jam from sour berries or burst berries. <laughs> Pickle tree stumps here, nice and crunchy. Let us sell it for you. Each bite is a joy. Ahem. The jury has decided that the prize for the most delicious farm product will be awarded to the unpredictable <gasps> jam from Wonderland School. It's feather licking good. Mind if I try a little? Hold on! I object to that. You don't appreciate woodland cuisine. It really is delicious, though. Try it! Hmm. Well then, here, pickle tree stump is my specialty. Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Responsibilities Don't get upset, Lisa. This time to improve your grade. Really? Could you improve it now? Pretty please? I'd love to, but not before you've retaken the structure of a suit of armor, the features of invisibility hats, and the carrying capacity of flying carpets. Remember, tomorrow is your retake. That means you need to study today. It's your most important responsibility. Hey, Lisa, why do you look sad? <sighs> I have to retake my test tomorrow, and there's so much I need to study. How can I learn it all in one day? Huh, that's simple. There's a spell that can help. I'll show you how to do it. Just repeat after me. Responsibilities come on, all the rest be gone. Responsibilities come on, all the rest be gone. So I'm ready for the test? <laughs> no, you still have to do all the studying yourself. <sighs> But now, you're not going to forget to study. Thanks, I think. The overall mobility of a suit of magic armor is ensured. With knuckles. No, wait, with buckles. Although knuckles would be more interesting. Hey, Lisa! We're having a frog race. Wanna jump in? It'll be fun. Dolma even made a prize. Oh, so cute! Oh, but... 
I need to study. We'll be quick. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> On your marks. Get set and croak. And the winner is Lisa. Good well job, done. Lisa. <laughs> Wait, where's the prize? Archie, come on, did you take my prize? It couldn't be Archie, I can see right through him. <laughs> Don't worry, Lisa, I'll show you another. When listing the most important features of standard invisibility hats, one mustn't forget... <gasps> Lisa, one of Miss Dragon's relatives flew in to visit. The Golden Dragon of the Seven Peaks. Is it true that he's... Oh, gold? Yep, from head to tail. Wanna come see? Yes! Actually, uh, no. Sorry, I need to study. Oh, suit yourself. Excuse me, hi! Are you the golden dragon? I'd like to see you. <gasps> Are you invisible? Ah, oh, I see why. It's hard when everyone's staring at you. I hear you have a beautiful glow. Could I at least see that? Thank you. Guess that's better than no dragon at all. The maximum carrying capacity of passenger flying carpets is determined by... Lisa, hey! Come for a ride on the six-legged beast! Ernie's taught him how to jump over bushes! I can't go. I have carrying capacity. I mean studying. He learned to shake hands. No way, really? Come on! That was your fifth lap around. It's my turn now. We're almost done. Now it's time for the grand finale. Ready, go! <laughs> Six balls? Where are you going, Six balls? Baba Yaga, playing tricks. Toadstools hither, toadstools thither. Come to me and don't you hither. Please give six paws back to us. I don't have him. And why would I? I have enough responsibilities. Responsibilities? Of course, collecting toadstools, weaving nettles, and the fountain needs repairing. Hmm. <gasps> so that's where my prize went. Flying carpet here. You're covered in hair. From six paws. An invisibility hat. And golden dragon scales. I get it now. My responsibilities. Uh, ah, help! I'm being chased by my responsibilities. You're not done with them yet? Don't worry. This is just how the spell works. If you put off your responsibilities, they'll follow you around and get in the way of your distractions. How do I get rid of them, though? Huh, the same way as other tasks. You just do them. <sighs> all right, then. You all come with me. So here's what I learned from my own experience. First, that a gauntlet can huh. detach from a magic suit of armor and operate on its own. And second, that an invisibility hat can become big enough to hide anyone, even a huge dragon. And third, that a flying carpet can carry so much weight, even a six-legged beast doesn't bother it. Oh, great job, Lisa. Well done. You know, I used the responsibility spell myself recently. I had a paper to write. The pages wouldn't be quiet. <laughs> they rustled all night. Didn't get a wink of sleep. Are you coming or not? <gasps> mm -hmm. Go on. You were responsible. So now you can have some fun. Winter in Wondermont. Be on your best behavior. We won't be long. As soon as we buy... What is it we're buying today? The usual. All sorts of magical things. Magical things we've run out of. Oscar gave us such interesting pendants. Whatever dress you wear, it matches perfectly. I've tried it with all my clothes. You should try it with something warmer. It's freezing in here. Helen, are you okay? 
I'm sad because today's a holiday. Holiday? What holiday makes people sad? I'm sad because I can't celebrate it. Today is Snowland Day. It's the best winter holiday. Snow falls from morning to night, and everyone goes ice skating. We share our cocoa and gingerbread, and at night we meet under the holiday tree and exchange gifts. But all of that happens in Snowland. What wonderment. You should have told us sooner, because then we could have put it on our holiday calendar. But how can we celebrate here? There's no snow. It's impossible. Girls, the library has a spell that summons winter in summertime. Well, should we bring winter to Wondermont? Oh, it's so cold. Looks like there's some fine print. Winter magic is very fragile. When the ice ball appears, you must not... Must not what? I don't know. The ink is faded. Just must not. I think it says... We must not leave Helen without her favorite holiday. Just because of fine print, the spell hasn't faded. That's all we need. Frosty air, fluffy snow, winter wonders please bestow. Give us the chance to see snowmen dance. Away with summer air, so winter is everywhere. It's working. It sure is. Even our bears have gone white. 127, 128. I just got started. What is happening? Snow? In summer? That's him! Hello there. Do you have any idea what's going on? Why is it so cold? By the way, my name is Ash! Hey! Wait up! Come with me to the school! Otherwise you'll freeze! <gasps> Look! So cool! Why haven't we summoned winter before? How beautiful! Look inside! There are tiny snowflakes! Uh, I figured out what we must not do! Uh-oh! You could have warned us that your winter was starting this afternoon! Vasco is out in the forest today, and he's allergic to cold weather! We have to go find him quick, and bring him straight back! I'll look to the left, and you... We'll be waiting for you here. Handle it on your own. It's his fault for going out alone. Aren't you worried about Vasco? Look at this. The girls wanted to summon Winter for me. And they did it. But they did it wrong. And the magic cold went into their hearts. Now they don't feel anything. So we need to save them too? Yes, we do. Let's split up. You find Vasco, and I'll warm up the girls. Before their hearts freeze over. <laughs> Vasco! 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 I hear you, Vasco! Just keep sneezing! Vasco! I'm coming to get you! Girls, look over here! Grandma taught me how to handle heart frost. To warm a frozen heart, be kind and funny, and make them smile. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the showstopper! Ta-da! Come on, girls! Could you please laugh? I know who you are! You're the legendary sorcerer of the snowy north! And you brought this false winter! But I won't let you freeze all my friends! Vasco is cold and in danger, and I'm here doing silly magic tricks! He would never abandon us like this! He came to save me from the six-legged beast, and he saved Rooney on the flying disc. And once, he protected us from those rocks. Uh, I can't stop shivering, it's so cold. My tongue's gone numb. Are we in a freezer? Girls, you finally awakened. Quickly, we have to find the boys. Vasco! Vasco! Demon! Let's do it. Bless you, buddy. I see them over there. Guys! and gingerbread. Vasco, why are the pendants glowing? We've never studied magic like this before. Oh, that? In El Dorado, we give these pendants to our friends, and they glow whenever we think of each other. And they warmed us up. In Snowland, we have a saying, friends keep you warm in the cold. <gasps> so, you gave Helen a surprise. Snow, hot cocoa, gingerbread. Good work. Do you know what else is missing from our Wondermont Snowland day?
Yay! Presents! Though you went a bit overboard with the blizzard. Now let's see. How about we reduce the wind by a third? Ah, I think that's better. Look, the Sorcerer of the North is back. What? That's a snowman. He's very kind. Kind? Then let's give him a cup of cocoa, too. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Vasco And the magical dynasty of Woodstream is 5,000 years old And now my father, Oakengrove, is the 252nd ruler That was a very informative presentation, Princess Lisa Thank you And that is the end of our lesson Our family started as fishermen My great-great-grandfather caught a whale once But they became friends, so he let it go in Wisdom Land, all kings and queens are called the Wise. Our throne is set up in a library. There's still someone we don't know the tiniest bit about. Oh, uh, who? You know who. Tell us about your family. Do you have a castle? Are there any towers? Um, I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. Huh? Why didn't you tell them about your family? It isn't like you're cursed or anything. The princesses, Levon! Princesses! I don't see how that's a problem. Of course you don't get it. You're from a royal family. You have a castle and you ride dragons. But me? I spent my childhood pulling weeds out. Would the princesses even still talk to me if they knew that? Vaska, we know everything! You do? But how? We read it! The Magic Herald says that the famous king of an ancient family has apparently sent his favorite grandson to the very best school of magic. Lucky kid, huh? This boy has natural talent. He could levitate before he even learned how to walk and flew off for ice cream. <laughs> Sounds great. Stop pretending. We know that it's you. Me? Mm. Of course. It's me. You guessed right. Yep, you win. It's me. And so to honor our prince from an ancient family, that's you, we cordially invite you to a royal picnic. Wow, a picnic. And we look forward to you showing off your amazing levitation ability. Maybe we could learn a thing or two. Piece of cake. Uh, levitation has to do with levers, right? Uh... I can't believe you agreed to this. Vasco, you don't even know what levitation is. Come on, this is my only chance to make them believe that I'm a prince. I just want to fit in. Okay, if it's that important to you, then my honor demands that I help you out. Rock on! But if you want to be more princely, then you should use more refined language. Do what I do. Light as air, soft as snow, soar above the ground below. Levit high, levit up, lift your head and levy up. Now you give it a try. Left face, march. Very good. Now to the right. This nettle's turned out great. And it's well trained. Soon it'll be growing everywhere. Oh! And just look at their flower beds over there. They know nothing about beauty. Light as air, rotten dough, oops, I mean soft as snow, I'll soar above you. Levitai, levitair, lift me in the air. Uh, it's impossible. I've been working on it for a whole hour and nothing. Double swamp potion. Now none of their magic will be able to touch you. Oh, my potion. I didn't even have a chance to finish making it yet. I'll never get this right. Stomp here, clap there. It just makes no sense. You'll get it. You just need to feel the magic in your bones, you know? Make it your own. <gasps> My magic! I forgot all about it! Yvonne, you're a real friend! No, a genius! <sighs> well? Rock on! I mean, magnificent. <laughs> Your attention, please! For the very first time, Prince Vaska will demonstrate his famous levitation. Hmm? <gasps> so you're the one interfering with my spell. Oh, 
You're in for it now. Nettle, ready on my command. Chase everyone away and seize the flower bed by the school. Wondermont will be ours. Onward! Uh, thank you, my friends. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> my special nettles are magic resistant. Go! Get behind me! Magic isn't making them go away. Then we should deal with them without any magic at all. Watch and learn. Ah! <gasps> oh? What kind of ancient magic warrior technique is that? Well, it's actually called weeding. Who <laughs> said you could retreat? Stop! I have enough nettles in my yard already. Where? <sighs> Just like back home on the farm. <laughs> wow. Great job! Listen, I'm not some prince from an ancient family. I'm just Vasco from a long line of farmers. And I like you better this way, instead of being some fancy show-off. I wouldn't trade you for a million princes, my friend. Rock on! I guess being true to yourself is your best self. The Favorite Toy Girls, did any of you see my teddy? Doma, let's look for Teddy tomorrow. It's time for bed. Ah, oh, I'm ready to drop. Mm. I'll be quick. He's here somewhere. Maybe he fell. Teddy! It's late. It's time for bed now. All right, let's see what we've got here. These belong in the museum. Oh. I've seen you before. Are you magic? You probably belong in the museum too. Dorma, are you still looking? I thought my teddy was here. Dorma, you are too old for toys and teddy bears. You can sleep without him. Okay. Don't worry, Teddy. I'll find you tomorrow. All right, sit here. Let's play together. Look at what I can do. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Fine, see ya. Ah, there's so much stuff here. That's an interesting cupboard. Wow, that's quite a trick. I want to be big too. Did you keep looking for him even at night? Yes, but then Daria woke up and said I'm too old for toys. That I should act my age and fall asleep without my teddy. I don't need him anymore. But Teddy isn't just a toy, he's my friend. We'll find him, don't worry. Mr. Immortal has a spell for finding lost things. Hey, what's wrong? Let's play circus. Look, I have a whole troop here, and you will be the main event. Why are you crying? You're tired of sitting there? Of course, why didn't I think of that? A traveling circus. Hey, wait, we haven't taken our troop with us. Fine, I'll bring the troop. You'll get the audience. Teddy, where are you? <laughs> Teddy, he's here. And there's our audience. Prepare to be amazed by our astounding circus performance. Awesome. Where did it come from? Maybe the teachers did it as a surprise. Our first act is the Living Tower. I have a bad feeling about this. Taller, taller, even more. Oh, flowers. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. What a tremendous tower. Let's make it taller. It's not tremendous at all. It's going to fall on the school. No, it's not. Oh, an ice tower. What an awesome circus. What is going on? 
gone. Let this bewitched being return to its original form. Oh, Marlene, form. you can't. You made him even bigger. We need to know what kind of magic brought the toy to life. Otherwise, the spell <laughs> won't work correctly. Life elixir, growth potion. So that's why there are large chess pieces and clowns walking around. Maybe they were the ones who took Teddy. La 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 Be amazed by the juggling clown extraordinaire! Watch out! This is why I don't like chess. Are you? Girls, watch out! I'm activating protection! I can't hold this much longer! I'll help you! Leave it! Let it fall! We'll come up with something else! Hey, Sloane! Just what did you do with my teddy? I found his ribbon, so give him back! I need my teddy! He's my friend! You lost your teddy, huh? I know what to do! Marlene! If you shrink him, Dorma will fall! You are not part of my troop! All right, fine. I'll take you. You'll be our flying acrobat. Hello. We need to distract him. Hey, clown. We're artists too. What's this? Wonderful. Train crawl. A real circus. Hey, I'm riding a horse. Nice. A round of applause. What an awesome troop we are. And finally, my act. The flying acrobat. No. To the moon. I would never guess that a simple toy could do something like that. I wish I had a friend like that. And what shall we do with him? Put him somewhere far away. The museum? Maybe it'd be better if we found him a new owner. Somebody who would play with him. Girls, I leave you alone for one day. And we end up with an entire circus outside. So, who's responsible for this mess? Oh, my clown, where did you find him? It's been so long. You are my favorite toy. <coughs> <clears throat> you see, when I was a child, this toy was my best friend. <laughs> and frankly, I'm very glad to see him again. Hello, old friend. The Frog Stone. Don't open it yet. Let me guess what's inside. <laughs> it's Thumbelina, who is actually your secret second cousin. No, wait. It's Tom Thumb. Okay, now I'm ready to see. No tiny boys in here. I hope Levon and Vasco aren't nearby either. Here. It's my grandmother's frogstone ring. <gasps> wow, it's really beautiful. And it's magical, too. Just touch the stone and you'll turn into a frog right away. <gasps> Ribbit? Whoa. Touch it again, and you'll turn back to normal. That's so cool. Traditionally, you only wear this on All Swamp's Day. But now I have to wear it every day. Since the boys got here, I've been so nervous that I keep turning into a frog. Worse, the timing is... Ribbit? Goodness, not again. Turning into a frog is dreadful, isn't it? Big deal. So you turn into a frog. You can jump and croak and swim around. You're making a mountain out of a toadstool. I mean, molehill. You have no idea what it's like. Rooney, I can barely croak before something happens. It's so embarrassing. Surrender, beast, or I'll turn you into a toad. <laughs> oh, no. The boys. I have to get out of here. Calm down. No hiding. I have a plan. Just put on your ring, and you can rib it. You'll see it's going to be fine. You don't get it at all, Rooney. Don't go, Lisa. Uh, why is everything bigger? Did I touch Lisa's ring and turn into... A frog! Look, Levon! Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. It has a crown on its head. Maybe it's a water sprite. So pleased to meet you. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, in El Dorado, frogs were a lot of fun. They were always racing around the ponds, while the Wondermont frogs are kind of lazy. Don't you think they look so bored? Why don't we make a race for them? Excellent idea. I'll bet on the frog with the crown. She looks like she could win. Actually, I'm a princess. 
and I'm probably going to beat you. Soon I'll tell Lisa that being a frog was cool. So learn from me while you can. On your mark, get set, rip it! <laughs> One more try, come on! I got off on the wrong foot. I want to re-jump. Rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it. Oh, ugh. How is Lisa so good at jumping? This is really uh, so hard. Uh, uh, I'm jumped out. Mm, maybe she's better at swimming. She is a water sprite. Want to try? N no, thank you. I need to go find Lisa. You're lucky I'm out of shape. Rib by it. Rooney? Rooney? Where are you? I'm so sorry. I just got scared, that's all. Lisa! Lisa! I'm here! Right here! Nobody understands me! I croaked and croaked, but... <laughs> Welcome, dear passenger, to Wondermont Airlines. Next stop, the pond next to my hut. Hmm. Could I please have a moment to myself, uninterrupted? No wonder frogs are always hiding out in the swamp. <laughs> ah! Welcome home. It'll be crowded, but nice. My very own pond and statue. It does have a habit of breaking, but the magic is reliable. You can't run away. You'll put on frog concerts every evening. Oh, it's broken again. I expect good singing with harmonies. I won't tolerate sour notes. If I can't jump out, I'll have to fall out. All right, friends, the time has come. We're getting out of here. Jump after me. To the left, to the right. Don't just sit there. Come on. Rip it, rip it. Uh. Uh. Huh? What is going on? Where are you going? Wait, wait, wait. Stay with me. You can be a soloist. I'll make you a star. Careful. Look out. Hey, you. Who taught you how to fly? Oh, flying frog! Ah! That's our frog with the crown. She's flying. Lisa, I'm coming your way! Ah! Ah! Did you see that? She nailed that landing! Let's include this in the competition. Help me! Someone! I can't swim! Oh, rip it! Rip it! Rooney! Hang on! Lisa, you won't believe what happened to me. First, I almost won a real frog race. Then I got captured and joined a frog choir. And finally, that raven who can't even fly properly. Wait a moment. I don't understand. But I understand. Being a frog is really hard. Please forgive me for not believing you. Of course I forgive you. Ribbit. Ribbit. But the boys are going to laugh at me. <sighs> I lost that race and I fell in the water. Well, let them make fun of us both. When you're with a good friend, it's not so bad. Uh -huh. Wow, that was awesome! Can you teach us that spell, please? I want to fly on a raven and then use it like a diving board! <laughs> Listen, Rooney, it's a long jump, not high. You're not a grasshopper. Boys, you need to be careful this time. It's not winning if you break something. Ready, set, go! <laughs> The genie. Come on, she's getting away. <laughs> ah! This is your last hour. Defend your land. Ooh! <laughs> Beware of evil wizard Rumi. She can destroy us. That is only if she's done running. <laughs> oh no, that's the immortal's favorite face. Uh, do you think he's going to notice? Oh, great. We should not have come in here. We know we aren't allowed to play in his office. Oh, dear. He is not going to be happy when he sees this. <sighs> no more Grunwald's Gardens field trip. He won't see it. I'll do a quick repairing spell. Earth, water, fire, air. They have the power to repair. You oh, did yay. it. Oh, well done, Rooney. That was great. <gasps> <gasps> Who could that be? How cute! It's a genie! Do you think he grants wishes? 
Mm-hmm. I call dibs on Genie. Listen, I'll wish first. I wish for... Uh, no, I wish for that, uh, what kind of wish should I wish for? Hold on, Rooney, there are different kinds of genies. <gasps> oh no, I think he found something in there and ate it. Oh, that's not good. Who cares? A genie that little could be a big problem. But we don't know if he could become one. Lisa, let's go to the library and find out how to put that genie back in the vase. You three, find the genie and distract him. And don't tell the immortal. <gasps> he ate my candy! My gingerbread as well. Well, yes, he probably hasn't eaten for a thousand years. Here, little genie. Have some unpredictable cupcakes. And dried plumberries. This genie's no big deal. went somewhere else to eat. <gasps> the kitchen! Oh. <laughs> yes, our little problem's not so little now. Girls, maybe we should tell the immortal everything before it gets worse. And before the consequences get bigger. Here's a consequence for you. There won't be anything left for lunch if the genie finishes off all our soup. Lure him to the greenhouse. It's full of apples. Doma. Can you conjure up a delicious red herring? <laughs> oh, yeah! Those apples will last him a while. Uh-oh. Our little problem's gotten so much larger. <laughs> Want an apple? I've got one here. The drawer is still locked. Do you have the key on you? Shame on you, Archie. Nobody but you could have taken the cookies. So why did you do it? They were his favorite. They had coconut flakes, for the record. It wasn't Archie! The genie ate them! We were accidentally playing in your office and then we accidentally released the genie and then we didn't want to tell you because he was so cute! Okay, reverse spell, stop! Uh There's a genie? The genie from my vase? He'll gobble up our entire stockpile. Okay, Lisa, ready. Pudding, buns, cake! Hey, we figured it out! It's a glutton genie! He's really hungry because he's been hibernating for a thousand years, and he won't go back to sleep until he's eaten all his favorite treats. Lisa, have the tablecloth make some hot cocoa. Mr. Immortal, is this really the right time for hot cocoa? It's not mine. It's to give to the genie. That's always been his favorite. He'll take a sip and go right off to sleep. Mug of hot cocoa! Hmm. <sighs> now, back to your home. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Shh, don't wake him up. We're sorry, Mr. Immortal. The more we hoped the little genie would just keep being small. The picker that he got. Oh, and it ate our lunch and our dinner. And Archie got in trouble for nothing. The whole harvest disappeared. That's how problems are. The more you try to hide them, the bigger and bigger they get. Like a gluttonous genie. So when a problem happens like this, you should come and tell us right away. Yes, then we can work together to fix whatever it is. Mr. Immortal, I guess you don't want to take us on the field trip to Grunwald's Gardens anymore. After all this? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> if I didn't, where else would we go to get seeds to replace our harvest? Yay! Wish granted! And we didn't need a genie! <laughs> <laughs> the Gingerbread Man A glowing pudding! 
That's wonderful. Ice cream that never melts. All your achievements make me very happy. I look forward to sharing these with Mr. Immortal when he returns. And you, Daria? Fortune cookies that tell the future. Ooh, I call dibs on those. <laughs> on this day, two friends you know will leave for Sweetland. What friends? I don't know. You predicted it. And I've... Well, well, I've... Here. I wanted to make a Sweet Dreams gingerbread man. The recipe is quite simple, but I fell asleep while making it. And then it burned every time I tried. Now I don't know what to do. Dorma, try again. You chose a very complicated recipe. Oh, I've tried it a hundred times, but I've still failed. Now I've got a new idea. Hey, don't listen in. Right, Daddy? Look, a self-filling tablecloth! It makes whatever you ask. But shh, don't tell anybody. That goes for you too. Dreamy munch, gingerbread crunch, a lovely treat for a sleep that's sweet. Yes! My homework is finally done. Now everyone's going to love my little gingerbread man. Everyone's going to love me. It's so nice. So golden brown. <gasps> I get to try it first. Pleased uh -huh. to meet you. I'm the gingerbread man. You're going to love me. Uh, I'm Rooney. And I think I need to sleep. Rooney? Sweet dreams. Rooney? Dorma, you must have put too much sleeping charm in the recipe. Let's be friends. You're going to love me. <sighs> We like you already. Oh, I'm dreaming about a unicorn. What are you doing? Wake them up again. <sighs> Didn't any of you sleep last night? Who can I make friends with now? Your gingerbread man is putting everyone to sleep. Where are you going? Things aren't looking very good for me. Dorma, how did you bake that gingerbread man? I was scared that I'd never managed to make anything. So I used the self-filling tablecloth, but I think that something must have gone wrong. Maybe there's something I missed in the recipe. Did you read the instructions? No. Hello? Is anyone here? The top side of the tablecloth makes exactly what you ask it for. Here, take a look. Let me see. And the other side gives food magical properties. <gasps> I must have put the tablecloth the wrong, wrong way around. around! That's why your gingerbread man puts everyone to sleep just by touching them. And why he is alive. Whatever should we do? It's all here. It says to stop the magic. You just need to make the same recipe yourself. I'll never manage it. I keep falling asleep. Of course you will, Dolma. I'll help you. We'll bake the best gingerbread man ever. Where is everyone? Let's be friends. The recipe says we need some good night, Ginger. And a little calming clove. Got it! Oh. It's so good that I found you. The water. It'll help hold him back for a bit. I can't get my feet wet. I'm gingerbread. Let's go. Where are you going? Don't leave me alone. We've only got until the water dries up. Butter, flour, the spell. Nice. Honey, ginger, and clove. And bake. Did you turn down the heat? Uh-huh, I did. It's definitely got to work this time. This isn't going so well. All my friends have run off. Oh, I hope he doesn't see us. What can we do? It's time to get the gingerbread out. I've got a plan. Rock the chandelier. There you are. How did you get so high up? Do you want me to help you get down? <gasps> oh, 
Gingerbread Man, look! <sighs> it's lovely to meet you. Let's be friends. <gasps> it's so nice that you didn't fall asleep. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I cheated. I didn't know that this would happen. You need to be extremely careful with magical objects. But you've baked wonderful sweet dreams, gingerbread men. Whatever shall we do with you? I've got an idea to help with that. Mr. Immortal! Girls, I've just returned from Sweetland, and they will be delighted to welcome the new residents. Your gingerbread men will have plenty of friends to play with there. On this day, two friends you know will leave for Sweetland. The fortune cookies were right! 